Alright guys, this is the market recap for June 8th, 2020 and oh my god, what a great day for trading. This is Patrick Masters with Parabolic Trading. Man, look, this is phenomenal. And I think this is the worst, this is the most losses I've had in a row since I began trading, right? And I am still way profitable, right? Like this is awesome. Like this goes to show that if you manage your risk, right, you put yourself in the right positions, you can make monster, monster gains, even if you're only winning, if your winning percentage is 50%. Now, my winning percentage for this year is still, um, it, it dropped down from 83 to 82.2%, right? Um, still quite profitable. So let's go over today's trades that I took. We'll go over this, uh, this Chesapeake here in a minute. My God. Um, so I, I took this one this morning. I had just kind of assumed that it was going to pop, and it did, right? So I, I got in here at uh, 72 cents. I took um, 3,000 shares, got out at 113, pocketed uh, 12.30. Got in some, uh, got in some ACB, some JNUG, uh, some Nikola, and uh, of course, ACB. I, I got out of that one just because it just was well, just sitting around. I wasn't gonna sit here and, and, and waste uh, waste precious capital. Uh, Nikola, I had sold uh, I sold partial. I sold half my shares um, for a nice profit. Sold another quarter for another profit, and then got out the rest for um, for another profit. Right. So obviously, I, this is the the ACB I was in. J Nug, I got out. Because again, I felt like I was up pretty well for the day, so I didn't want to get greedy uh, and have bad karma from the stock gods. Um, got in the SPR, took a small little profit on it as well. It just wasn't really doing anything, right? I didn't, I didn't think it had. Um, I didn't really think it had any real range. Again, it is what it is. Uh, SRG got in there, started my little losing streak here, right? Uh, and then of course I did what every stupid trader does, right? You got profits instead of giving them back. Um, again, I got greedy, went back, tried to hit Nikola as if it was some um, some hookup that I felt like I was able to just hit whenever I wanted, right? I was feeling pretty pretty confident about myself. I, my ego got in the way. And then I got pounced, right? Like, what was it right here? I got pounced for, uh, what, for, for uh, 1,300 bucks, I think, right? And then what did I do? I, I did what I teach, I don't, I teach my students not to do, right? I got pissed off because I'm like, man, I was up like fucking four grand. Sorry for cursing. I was up four grand and I gave back, you know, I gave back a nice chunk of it, right? And then, so it set up for me again, right? Set up for me again and I got hit again, right? And within, this is like within like probably 45 seconds to like a minute and a half, right? So like I just gave back half the profits I took from it. So I was pretty pissed. So then I start hunting around for things to get into, right? Middle of the day. I wanted to make my money back. I was feeling pretty good being up, you know, four thousand plus dollars. So I got in a couple more, and then the losses started compounding, right? And then of course I got back into to Nikola, and then of course I made a little bit of money back, feeling pretty good about myself. I took some trades in o, uh, OSTK, took another one in ACB, took another, um, uh, bought some more uh, of Nikola, kept playing it, right? Made some, I made some more profit back on it, right? So again, I'm, I'm kind of making back what I lost on Nikola. So again, so this Chesapeake, right? This is, man, this thing is, 
hot as hell, right? So this Chesapeake Energy Company, man, this thing last week was what, $15? If that, you know, it's up like 268%. So again, this was, this was the spot to hit, right? If you're going to hit this, if you would have bought on this break, you would have made some serious freaking coin today, right? I didn't take it. You know, I know better than the chase, right? Again, by the time I had saw this, because I was in other things, it was up around this area, and I'm like, I'm not chasing. So I'm just going to wait for a pullback, right? Well, it starts getting extended, and I keep thinking the pullback's coming, the pullback's coming, the pullback's coming. It didn't come, right? So then, so I'm trading live in front of my students, and I, and I tell her, you know, she's like, well, why not get in there? So I said, listen, like I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna I'm gonna risk my own capital to show you why you don't do this, right? So I was gonna buy a hundred shares because it, it kept halting, right? It come out of the halt and it would rip, come out the halt and rip. And of course, she, you know, most new traders think, why not just buy, right? If it keeps going up, just keep buying. It's gonna go up. And I know from my my experience with BPTH last year, watching people get halted every thirty seconds and then the price skyrocket, and then of course. Every 30 seconds, it, the halt down was even worse, right? They kept, they kept flushing down. So I remember that. Even though I didn't get hammered on that trade, I kept thinking about that. So I don't want to be that person. I didn't want to be that bag holder that was up at 74 thinking he was going to get rich. And then instead, he ended up cleaning up you know, the floors in a peep show house, right? So... So again, so I told her, I said, look, I said, I'm going to buy 100 shares of this. And then I started thinking like, man, you know what? I don't want to risk that kind of money, right? Because my whole thing is, you know, what if it flushes back, right? So I said, well, here, I said, I'll tell you what. I said, I'm going to buy 50 shares of this, and I'm going to show you why you don't buy, you don't, you don't set a market order to buy out of a halt because we have no idea whether you're going to come out of the halt going down or going up. And anyone who tells you they know what's going to happen, Coming out of a halt is full of shit, okay? No one knows what's going to happen because, again, at this point, my thinking was at some point we're going to roll over, and I hadn't been said, I said this this morning. I said, I said, man, I said, this is going to make for an epic short today, right? I, there's no way this thing was going to carry over to tomorrow, and there's no way it was going to carry overnight. So, again, I knew at some point today it was going to give me an entry to nail it. So, again, so I bought, and, I, of course, we get up here. I, I bought up here. And then we get halted. So I was like, shit, you know what? I was like, I said, look, I said, now I'm going to show you what, this is how I would handle it if I got in that situation. So I went ahead, as you can see, right? So I, I bought 50 shares at 77.07. As soon as, as soon as it came out of the halt, right? I had a market order in too short. I got filled at 69.92. So I bought, I, you know, I sold 50 shares and then I borrowed a thousand for the short. So at this point, I'm taking a $358 loss at the worst case scenario, right? So then it starts flushing down and then we get halts, right? So at this point, I've got a, I've got a sell order. I've got a buy order in to cover my shares, right? So at this point, I'm up 9,000 bucks. So I'm thinking like, you know, just let me get out of this trade here because again, I don't want to get short squeezed at all, which I know this is a very real possibility, right? And I'll show you this here in a second. Um, so... Again, we halt. I'm waiting to come out of the halt. Sure enough, we come out. We flush down, right? Now, at this point, at this point, I think we're right around here in the halt. So I move my stop. I move. I would move my uh, my my stop cover price down, right? So at least hopefully I'm gonna you know you know bank a little bit of profit if it squeezes back, right? And again, it's a crapshoot. I may not get a feel. It may just blow right past my stop. But then I set a target down here, right, to sell at 56, right, around 56, I think it was. No, actually, I think it was, I think I sold, I, I think I had it set for like 50, 57, 10 or something like that. Again, it would have gave me a $14,000 return, right? So, again, that's, or I think I, I have it set down here around there somewhere. But again, it might have been down here it, within this wick of the candle. But anyways... The point being is that I had a chance to make 14 grand if my if I got a fill at my target area. So we come out of the halt, flush it down, pops right back up, and then I'm out. I cover at 56.95 for a $12,970 gain. How awesome is that, right? So then, so then, right? Next candle out of the halt pops up. 
So again, so at this point, the same student says, well, now wouldn't you buy? And I'm like, uh, no, because there's so much volatility in this. You're like, you have no idea what's going to go. I said, I think what's going to happen. I said, I, I think, because again, we had the, the, the green dash candle to the side here. And I told her, I said, I think it's just going to go sideways and then it's going to roll over. And I said, and the 9 EMA is going to act like a hand on top of somebody's head pushing them underwater. So sure enough, we can't, I said, if we're going to do anything, I said, I would short it again right here about the 60, but I would have to give myself about a $2 stop loss. I said, and right now, these candles are way more than two bucks. So I'm like, I'm going to be happy, take my money that I got, and I'm just going to call it a day. So sure enough, out of this halt, right, look at this candle, right? It goes from 57 all the way down here to 30 freaking nine, right? So then again, we're halted. So out of the next halt, right? It's the candle shoots from 39 back to 52. So again, <coughs> excuse me. You got to be very, very careful when you're shorting, especially very volatile stocks, because you could get squeezed badly, right? You could think you could say, man, it's gonna, you know, you could have grabbed a, a fill for a short down here at 42. It popped back up to 52, right? Either you're covering, if you're using a hard stop loss, at some point you're going to get covered, right? So you're going to cover and you're going to be down some serious cash. And if you ain't using a stop loss, God have mercy on your soul because you could get crushed, man. You could literally get crushed. You could lose, I mean, you could lose your account if you're not careful. Uh, depending on the position sizing that you had, you could, you could have destroyed your entire account and you could have owned your broker money, money that you probably don't even have, right? So again, this is how hot this day was, right? And then of course I finished out with uh, I had I hit D Dog again uh, for for a nice profit. So I actually uh, I hit them again on my uh, on my other Dash Trader account. Um, I took a couple of trades on there as well. Um, so profitable on that, uh, not nearly as profitable as I am on this one here. And then of course I finished out the day. Uh, just I just went ahead and took profit. I you know at this point I was I wanted to focus on on the Chesapeake play. So what I had done was I was still in this trade, but I was also in Chesapeake. So I had moved my stop loss up to lock in profits, right? So I had my stop loss up here and then I had a target set up here. So I figured we're, one of two things is going to happen while I'm in this trade. Either OSTK is going to stop me out. I'm going to bank a little bit of profit and be okay. Or it's going to hit my target. I'm going to sell out and I'm going to be okay. So again, as you can see right here, it hit my, my, my target of 2205 bank, $340. So all in all on the day, I'm up $16,014, right? Um, I'm not making some video telling you that uh, I'm, I'm up $152,000 in the last 34 days of trading, uh, like some other YouTube quote gurus. Um, it's all bullshit, dude. So again, I'm, I'm laying everything out there that I've done for my trades, good and bad. So he'll tell you he lost some money, but he, doesn't tell, but he doesn't show you the trades that he lost, right? He'll tell you what he lost. He'll tell you how much he lost, right? But I'm, look, I show you my trades, good and bad. You'll see all my shitty entries. You'll see all my great entries. You'll see all my amazing exits and my so-so exits, right? And then you'll also see my losses. I really don't care, right? I'm not here to impress other people. I'm here to be profitable for myself, and I'm here to teach other people how to be profitable for themselves. I'm trying to teach you how to be your own bailout. Quit relying on governments. Quit relying on employers. Quit relying on stimulus checks. Rely on yourself. When you rely on yourself, you're going to work harder. You're going to learn this stuff. You're going to become a profitable trader. So again, guys, I appreciate very much for you taking time to watch this. If you could do me a favor, hit the like button, the subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video, whether it be uh, putting together a watch list for the next day, or market recap, or showing you how to how, how to do a certain pattern, or something else that comes up in the market that uh, is very very valuable to learn. Uh, again, for those of you that are not aware, uh, we have our next boot camp that is starting tonight at uh, 8 p. Or, I'm sorry, at 7 p.m. We have classes five days a week: Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, from 8 o'clock till roughly 9 9:30. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I think it, it might have been 8 o'clock. Um, but again, I'll check real quick and make sure. Uh, one second here, just to be safe here. It is 8 p.m. And for those of you 
that would like to attend this boot camp, right? You're still, there's still time to join. You can join today, right? And be in class tonight by using a 60% off coupon code that I'm giving you 60% off the, the regular price using the, ba- uh, the code bailout60, right? So again, I'm gonna teach you how to be your own bailout. So use the coupon code bailout60 and you can get 60% off the bootcamp. Now, if for some reason you don't see this video until after tonight's bootcamp starts, you maybe see it tomorrow morning, maybe see it two o'clock in the morning, whatever. Still wanna join, that's fine. You can play catch up. Again, you're gonna have uh, access to past bootcamp classes, all of the current bootcamp classes, and all of the future bootcamp classes. And I don't mean for three months, like certain other sites, right? You're not gonna have access to the bootcamp classes for three months and then have to rejoin uh, for six months or for a year. You're gonna have access to all the training material each and every day for as long as you want, right? So again, you're also gonna get um, lifetime access to our day trading chats and alerts. So after you're done with your bootcamp, uh, you'll be able to access the day trading chats and alerts and you'll be getting those for a lifetime as well as our swing trade channel alerts and trades. So again, I feel like we're really offering you a great deal. But again, I just want to kind of go over the market recap with you as well. So for those of you, again, that want to follow me on Twitter, it's at LLC Parabolic as well as Instagram. It's at Parabolic Trading. And if you want to follow us on Facebook, that's going to be facebook.com forward slash Parabolic Trading LLC, and of course, naturally our website, which will be www.ParaboliceTradingLLC.com. Once again, this is Patrick Masters. Thank you and have a great day. Man, what an amazing day. Take care, guys. Love you all.